Namaste. I am recording this before I leave town. I'm leaving town Friday to go spend time with my family in North Carolina for a week. It is challenging for me to live stream from their home. I tried it the last time I visited. And so just to take that pressure off from me and also just to be 100% available to spend time with them, I've decided to pre-record classes for this week. Um, I'll be sending them out the same way that I do when I'm home. Uh, but this is the gentle flow for the weekend when I send out both Sunday and Monday mornings. Um, the gentle flow is something that I enjoy kind of mixing up, but for a while I was really stuck on what I reference as um, Vinny Yoga. So one thing that we're going to be uh, doing today with Vinny Yoga is, you know, just flowing in and out of positions. Um, maybe just extending a limb and then bringing it down or taking a twist and coming out of the twist. And the most important thing is just following the rhythm of the breath. And while you're centering before we begin the practice, if you start to ignite and start to cultivate that rhythmic breathing, it's gonna make the practice so much easier and highly effective for taking you into what we call the state of yoga. So when you think about yoga, you may think of different aspects. A lot of people, when they think of yoga, think, you know, postures, but we know yoga is so much more than that. You know, when some people hear the term yoga, they do think meditation. Um, for other people, when they hear the word yoga, they think a lifestyle, you know, and they have a certain perception of what a yogi or yogini uh, looks like and uh, purchases at the store and the way, you know, just basically their day to day living. Um, but as we know, yoga is also a state of being. So it's not just about the doing, coming in and out of the poses or the execution of what's happening physically, uh, which is why we wanna maintain the cadence with the breath. And we wanna maintain that sense of control over the breath. And when we do that, then it's naturally starting to take us there. And then when you get to lie out in Shavasana and start to move uh, deeper towards the inner self, then hopefully you'll just be established in the state of yoga. So that's our intention for today's practice. Um, have two blocks and uh, perhaps a bolster as well. Place one of the blocks at the top corner of the mat. Come down to your spine on your back, bend your knees. We're gonna start off in a restorative pose. And it's going to be a restorative bridge. So as you power down to the soles of the feet and start to tuck the tailbone to lift away from the earth, you'll slide the block underneath the sacrum and just let your hips descend. Feel free to open up your palms. Close the eyes. But the most important thing here is getting established in the breath. So now that you're in position and you're being supported, attend to the breath. Watching both the inhalation and the exhalations. Feeling the belly balloon up and then back down. And the stretch in the neck, the weight on the shoulders.
the openness of the chest, the lift of the heart. And then the elevation of the knees. As if they were snowy mountain peaks in the distance. On your next inhalation, fly the right leg up. Point the toes. As you exhale, put the dorsiflexion and the ankle pumping the heel up. Continue, inhale, pointing. Exhale, flexing. Inhale, pointing. Exhale, flexing. Stretching the front of the leg and the back of the leg. Couple more. We'll circle the foot. Keep it going in the same direction. And now swap. Reverse it. And then release. Inhale, so the left leg up. Point in the toes. Exhale, flexing the ankle. Inhale, pointing. Exhale, pumping the heel up. Inhale, stretch in the front of the leg. Exhale, opening the back of the leg. Continue. And now circling the ankle, rotating the foot around and around and around. Reverse it. And release the foot. Feel all that energy sparkling in the feet. Feel as though you have a magnet in your knees and it's pulling it up your shins and calves. Imagine it coming down the slopes of the mountains, down the top of the thighs, coming into the hips, rolling across the tip of the pelvis, cascading down towards the lake of the belly, lake of the heart and the mind. Inhale, press through the soles of the feet, Tuck and lift, and then gently roll down one vertebra at a time. Inhale, lift your right leg skyward. Exhale, hook the hands behind the thigh and tug it in. Inhale, sail the right leg up. Keep your hands attached to the back of the leg. And exhale, draw the knee in. Continue. Couple more. Set your right foot down. And inhale, take your left leg up. 
Exhale, hook your hands behind it and bring the knee closer. Inhale, take the leg out and up. Arms stay attached and exhale, left knee draws in towards the chest. Continue. Draw the knees in, open up the arms, exhale, let the knees roll to the left. Inhale, knees up. Exhale, knees roll right. Inhale, knees up. Exhale, roll left. So just work on the lower body first. Coordinating it with your breath. And then we're gonna add in the neck. So the next time your knees go left, let your head turn left. Inhale, knees and chin to center. Create the same pace. Exhale, knees and face turn to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, knees and chin roll left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Continue. Inhale, center, keep your arms expanded, but sail the feet high. Exhale, hug the knees and then roll up towards them. Inhale, lower the head, expand your arms, fly the feet up. Exhale, you're curling in like a cannonball. Inhale, flare open, spread the toes even, and exhale, curl in. Continue. One more. This time, keep your head to the floor and just wrap your arms around your shins. Affirming here, I reduce my scattered forces and all my restless energy to rise up and away into the sky. Roll to one side of your body. Gently build up. Find that block that we used and set it at the top part of the mat. Now we're going to come to tabletop position. If you need more padding of your knees, add that blanket. And we're going to walk the hands out to puppy. Remember, in puppy, we're not dipping all the way into the shoulders. 
There's still some action here. And the belly is hugging in. The neck's in line with the rest of the spine. But as we exhale to melting heart, we sing the chest and chin and look forward with the eyes. And then we'll inhale, come to puppy. Exhale, sink to melting heart. You're welcome to use a cleansing breath. Repetition is key here. Two more. Last one. Hold one last breath. Inhale, rise. Slide your hands back. Take your left foot over to the side and then slowly lift your left arm up to stargazer. Exhale, bring the head down. Inhale, open up to stargazer. Exhale, bring the head down. Inhale, stargazer. Exhale, release. One more, inhale. Now this time, hold. Release the hands. Inhale, right leg to the side. Sweep open, stargazer. Exhale, hand lands. Continue. Just like we did on the other side. Simple, gentle movement. This one. Strike and hold. Exhale, lower the hand down. All right, we're gonna step the hands a little bit more forward of the shoulders, curl the toes under, lift a downward facing dog. And when you lift a downward facing dog, press into your hands more. And create more of an angle, more of a sharp line through your arms and through your legs. Keep the breath steady. Inhale, be here. Exhale, hover the knees. Lift your head, look forward down the lane of your mat. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale, hover the knees like you're coming to tabletop. Continue. Make any minor corrections if you need to. I just noticed one of my hands was slightly ahead of the other. And in the second round, I noticed my feet were wider than I wanted them to be. Last one. Set the knees to the floor, untuck the toes, rock it back. Extended child's. Inhale, cow tilt. Exhale, extend the child's. Inhale, cow. 
Exhale, child. Keep this rolling. Two more. Last one. Inhale, right foot steps through. Find those blocks. We're going to inhale, slide the hips back. And exhale, lunge the knee. Continue. Maintaining the rhythmic breath. Maintaining this rocking motion. Last one. Let your arms flow away from the blocks, shoulders hang back, heart lifts up, head leans back. And release the hands. All right, right knee back. Step your left foot through, lunge that knee, make sure it's in a good position. Foot's flat to the floor, and then inhale, hips back. Exhale, relunge the knee. Rhythmic breathing. Rocky motion. The next time you come forward, curl the back toes, lift that back knee, step that foot down, come up. Shoulders roll back, palms open up, blossom the heart. Inhale, straighten the front leg, lift the arms alongside the face. Exhale, lunge the knee, bring the arms down. This one, arms up. Exhale, keep the front leg straight. Bring the hands down to prayer. Hinge forward, pause. Dip down lower. Separate the hands, find the block. Spin away from the back heel, come back to that lunge. Lower the back knee. Step the left knee back, the right foot through. Curl the back toes, pluck up that knee. Bring the hands up. Shoulders roll back. Head leans back. Bring the back heel down. If you can't spin down to it, that was a step that I missed. Press through the right foot, lift the arms up. Exhale, lunge the knee, this form of warrior. Continue.
Inhale this time. Arms up, front leg straight. Exhale, spin your left hip forward. Hands come down to Anjali Mudra. Lean forward, stretch out through the vertebrae. Perhaps dipping lower before separating the hands and finding the box. <laughs> Lunge the knee, turn and plant your back foot. Helicopter up to warrior. Spin the palms open. Inhale, straighten the leg, arms float up. Exhale, lunge the knee, warrior two. New flow, inhale. Exhale. Continue. Helicopter the arms down, lower the back knee, shift the right knee back, left foot forward, curl the back toes under, elevate the back knee, turn and plant the back foot, we're coming up to warrior two. Inhale, legs straighten, arms lift. Exhale, warrior two. Continue. Last one. Helicopter down, spin away from the back heel. This time, back foot steps forward. The blocks are going to come forward. Hands and blocks are located underneath the shoulders and the ankles under your hips as if you were like in a tabletop position. We're going to slowly stand on the left leg, lift and elevate the right foot. Breathe. Inhale, linear lines through the legs. Exhale, bend the knees, crunch in. Inhale, lift up, straighten out. Exhale, curl in. Continue. If blocks are too low, you can set your hands on a piece of furniture, maybe the seat of a chair. Exhale, lower the right foot down. Now stand here and breathe. Way down the right foot, elevate your left, hold and breathe. Square the hips. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, extend out. Continue. Two more. Mm. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, descend and ground the left foot. Take the weight off the hands, build up to Urdhva Hastasana. Link your fingers together, temple mudra. Exhale, curve to the right. 
Inhale up. Exhale, lean left. Continue. The next time you go left, inhale, come up to the top. Exhale, come halfway down. Inhale, hands to the shins. Sink the belly, lift the face. Exhale, roll it down, Uttanasana. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, halfway down. Hands prop to the thighs. Inhale, slide the hands down. Little micro back bend. Exhale, roll it out. Continue inhaling up. Exhale, halfway. Inhale, little back bend. Exhale, release. One more set. Inhaling up. Exhale, halfway down. Inhaling, hands to shins. Look out. And exhale, bow forward. Inhale, straight legs, Uttanasana. Exhale, standing child, bend the knees, hips droop halfway. Inhale, Uttanasana. Exhale, standing Balasana. This is our knee flow. If you need it, blocks under the hands, that's fine. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, bend the knees super deep. Continue. This time, grab your blocks, bring them closer to the feet, lift your heels, come to toe balance. Obviously, if your knees can't handle the flexion, come on down to the floor. Otherwise, prop up. Balance and breathe. We're gonna come on down. Using the block for the back of the head and the middle size block under the ribs. Use your hands. Your measuring may or may not be precise. When you get it in the right spot, it's comfortable. Take rest. So occasionally we drifted into stillness. And we're gonna to try to remain here for Shavasana. It's like a restorative fish. Mm 
Notice the waves rolling up and down the sea of chi. Face two inches below the navel. An inch or two above the sternum. We may have been burning ourselves out by becoming too busy. We might have become bored by not doing or inquiring enough. Hopefully the rhythmic breath work, the rocking motion we did with the body. Begin to lure you into the state of yoga. And now you can experience, it's not about the doing, the posing, the shape shifting, but it helps to slow the currents of the mind down, calm the waves of emotion down, to calm the elements of the body down. So that we can reveal what is inside. Yoga Chitta Ritti Narora. Yoga is the calming down of the mind and the emotions. What's your focal point? Center on the breath. Ready, lifting the head, stacking on your hands, pressing up, taking a more formal seat. Taking your hands to your knees, rounding the back. Inhale, sitting up. Exhale, rounding back. Couple more. Inhale, sit upright. Palms open. Eyes closed. I'm going to chant that sutra for you. Yoga 
Chitta Ritti Nerora Yoga Chitta Ritti Nerora Yoga Chitta Ritti Nerora Yoga is the lessening of the fluctuations of the mind, the neutralization of the emotions, and the removal of agitations to the body. Join your hands together. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaste.